Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. We just finished Pixel 4 XL versus Pixel 6 camera comparison video, and today we're creating this to see which is faster or will perform better. The Snapdragon 855 of Pixel 4 XL or the newer Tensor chip of Pixel 6 or Pixel 6 Pro. Outside the speed comparison video, Pixel 4 XL is the cheaper and more affordable use alternative of Pixel 6 with a better processor compared to the last year's Pixel 5, while Pixel 6 is the newer Pixel phone from Google that is advertised on all Google phone because of the in-house Tensor chipset. Are you ready to upgrade or you're staying with your 2-year-old phone? Hey, don't forget to subscribe my friend! Let's go! Let's start with our first test, the synthetic benchmark using Geekbench 5. Like our usual synthetic benchmark test, we closed all open apps before we begin. This is a quick review of the specs of two phones. We're also speeding up the video. After more or less 3 minutes, Pixel 6 finished this test. Now we're checking how long will it take for Google Pixel 4 XL to finish. So after roughly 36 seconds, Pixel 4 XL also finished this test. Let's check the score. Checking the synthetic benchmark, Pixel 4 XL has a good score of 698 in single core and 2364 in multi cores. Great numbers! While Pixel 6 has 1018 in single core and 2770 in multi cores. A bit of a lead, but can we feel it in real world test? We'll find out. Next is boot up test. We will turn off both phones and turn it back on to see who is faster. Operating system, network connectivity, and boot up animation may affect how fast this is. Wow, see in real life sometimes it's different than a synthetic benchmark test. Pixel 4 XL is faster than Pixel 6, so Pixel 4 XL is the winner here. Next test is screen refresh rate. This affects the smoothness of the home screen and more for user experience. The smoother the transition, the faster it feels. Checking the screen technology of both phones, I'm glad to tell you that both of them has 90Hz screen refresh rate, so the screen animation and transition will be smoother for any of these phones. It's a tie for me. Pixel 4 received the first 90Hz screen from Google, while Pixel 6 Pro received the first 120Hz screen this year. Next is opening of apps. So we have three categories, light apps, medium apps, and heavy apps. Light apps are for casual users that do heavy tasks on their phone. These are mostly pre-installed apps for productivity, like calendar and clock. Pixel 6 is slightly faster on phone. It's a tie on messaging. It's a tie on clock. It's a tie on browser. It's a tie on settings. It's a tie on calculator. And Google Pixel 6 is slightly faster on Google Photos. Now let's try to relaunch these apps. So, both phones perform similar to our test, so if you're a light user, Pixel 4 XL will be sufficient for you, so Pixel 4 XL is the winner here. Next is medium apps. These are essentially light apps but needing network connectivity with multiple functionality like social networking apps. These are for average users. Pixel 6 is faster on Facebook. It's a tie on messaging. Pixel 4 XL is slightly faster on Amazon. Pixel 6 is faster on eBay. Groupon wasn't set up properly on Pixel 6 so this is a void. And Pixel 6 is faster on Gmail. Now let's try to relaunch these apps.
So again, same performance, no app reloaded. If you're an average user, yes, keep your Pixel 4 or 4 XL. It's not worth it to upgrade from a speed standpoint. And lastly, heavy apps that need processing power, faster refresh rate, and stable internet connectivity. Let's see if the benchmark scores are showing on real-world tests. Pixel 4 XL is faster on PUBG. Pixel 6 is faster on Mobile Legends. Pixel 6 is faster on Subway Surfers. It's a tie on Candy Crush. Pixel 4 XL is faster on Roblox. Pixel 6 is faster on 8 Ball Pool. Pixel 6 is faster on Temple Run. And Pixel 6 is faster in Pokemon Go. Now let's try to relaunch these apps. So, it's a mixed results for heavy users, Pixel 4 XL1 on PUBG, while Pixel 6 is faster on Mobile Legends. Result also varied on some light games. I think Pixel 4 XL is more optimized on some games because it is an older device. So it's a tie for me. And for our last test, the Wi-Fi speed test. We will check the download and upload speed when connected to the Wi-Fi. We will test one phone at a time. Checking the results, Pixel 4 XL has 48 Mbps download speed and 5.42 Mbps upload speed. Well, Pixel 6 has 43.7 Mbps download speed and 13.8 Mbps upload speed. Almost a tie on download speed but Pixel 6 is almost 3 times faster on upload speed. So Pixel 6 is the winner here. So what is Gadget Revenue's verdict? Pixel 4 XL or Pixel 6? At the time of this recording, I just updated the Pixel 4 XL to Android 12, so even though it's running Android 11 on our test, it's still pretty good. We've learned today that both of these devices can run apps smoothly, Snapdragon processors are rock solid, while Tensor Chip is right there. I will recommend Pixel 4 XL on anyone who wants a fast and more optimized phone on a budget. It doesn't matter if you're casual, average, or heavy users. And I will recommend Pixel 6 to everyone that needs a fast phone. As fast as Snapdragon 855 or maybe 865, it will perform the same. It also has a longer update and better battery if you're into that. I think overall it boils down to your preference. If you're on a tight budget, then hold on to your Pixel 4 or Pixel 4 XL if you're solely into speed. But if you have $700 or more to spare, Pixel 6 or the more expensive Pixel 6 Pro at $1,000 are great options. You'll get more aside from the speed, but performance-wise, it will feel the same. We will compare Pixel 6 with the older Pixel phone, so stay tuned. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.